Hey, Hendersonville Ballet, it's your favorite teacher, I think. It's Miss Catherine. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying safe and healthy during this unusual time. I know it can be frustrating that we've had this sudden break in our training, but it's so important to maintain your conditioning and your dancing. Um, I know firsthand how difficult it is to maintain your body and actually maintain that desire to keep dancing. When we're stuck at home and we can't leave the house, there are so many things that we can do other than dance, right? Uh, homework, uh, watch TV, get on your computer, get on your phone, do TikTok. But now that you have all this time at home, all you need is a tiny space to keep up, maintain, and continue your studies with ballet. And today we're gonna to do a quick little point class. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks how to film when you're making class videos for the studio. I hope this helps you and I hope you'll stick along for the journey. Esme, Josie, Lucy, Haley, Hannah, are you out there? You better be paying attention. I'm talking to you. And special thanks to Mr. O for bringing me in. I know we'll be in the studio one of these days very soon, and I can't wait to see all of your faces. I miss you guys so much, but without further ado, let's dance. Okay, one great tip I can offer you when you're filming your ballet classes, you always want the natural light to be coming towards you. Don't film in front of a sliding glass door. Um, the light is gonna come in and it's gonna cast a huge shadow on you and we won't be able to see your face. So anytime you film, you wanna make sure you have natural light coming in so we can see everything that you're demonstrating. So yeah, that's tip number one. Okay. Okay, let's stand facing the bar in parallel. Knees are pulled up straight and tight and especially lengthened behind your knees. We're gonna start out with the right foot parallel and you're gonna go demi, press over the box, and demi, and down. Left foot, demi, press over the box. Can y'all see that? Demi, and down. And again, demi, press over the box. Make sure you don't sickle, make sure you're over the top of the foot. And again, demi, and down, and demi, pressing over the box, and demi, and down, okay? So let's face the bar. We're gonna start with the right foot. Five, six, and seven, and eight. Right foot one, and press, and demi, and down. Left foot, make sure your knees are pulled up. Right foot, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna roll up to the demi point with our knees nice and tight, lengthening behind the leg here. And releve up. All the way up through demi point and all the way to point and over the box and demi down rolling through keep the knees nice and pulled up let's just take a nice demi plie and stretch out your Achilles and we'll repeat demi point one and two and three and four left foot and two and three and four Four. Right foot and point and demi and down and demi and point and demi and down. Releve and one and two up to demi point. Let's press over the box and stretch behind the knees, lifting up, rolling through the toes. Now we turn out to first position. Very good. Let's start with our heels in first position and we're just gonna do simple. Demi plie, demi point, press over the box and stretch up and lift, go through the demi plie. And a one and two, three, press over the box, releve, hold your balance, squeeze down, straight knees, and again, demi plie and demi point, press over the box, and releve first, take your balance, and lifting up through the body as you put the heels down. Okay, let's do that once again. Five and six and seven and eight. Demi plie, roll over the box and 
Heels are forward and stretching up. Hold your balance and lifting up through the box and demi plie and stretching up. One more time, demi plie and demi point. Point, stretching all the way up. Lengthen behind the knees like we did in the first combination. Lifting up out of the box through the demi point. Keep your knees tight. Now demi plie and stretch up. You can do that exercise eight times, repeat, and that will definitely strengthen your ankles and make sure your heels are coming forward. And as you elevate up, you wanna make sure the behind, behind your knee here is super lengthened and pulled up. You don't wanna get up on point and have relaxed knees. You wanna really get over the top of the box, heels forward and stretch behind the knees. Okay, now let's do eight relevés in first position and we can do that facing the bar, like so. Make sure you're up in your hips, your legs are nice and long, your back is straight, you engage your core. Now we're gonna do it with a demi-plié and your hands are gonna be lightly on the bar, two fingers, ready, five, six, and seven, and eight. Plié and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, five and six, hold seven, eight, engage the core, feel your heels coming forward and bounce, five, whoa, six, and seven, plie, eight, and a one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, hold your balance, stay in, up in your hips, demi plie, tendu to second. Now let's do eight relevés in second position. Plie, tendu, close first. Five and six and seven and eight. Plie and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Hold up, two, three, four, five, six, demi plie, tendu, first. Now it's super important, you guys, to do your relevés every single day. And I know it's tough to put your point shoes back on after a while. I don't know, raise your hand. Esme, have you been putting on your point shoes? I know Josie has. But yes, your feet will get tender super quickly. They will, once you put your point shoes back on, you're gonna start rubbing those blisters again. And that's no fun, I understand. But even if you put your point shoes on for like five, 10 minutes a day, maybe 15 minutes and just do your relevés. Yes, you do have to be warm. Yes, you do have to do plies, but make sure you get your feet in those point shoes working all the time. Okay, let's move on. Now we're gonna just do very simple pas de bourrées, but we're going to do them clean, turned out with our knees pressed back in passe. So we're, what we're gonna do is just really simple. You're gonna start and a beautiful B plus, okay? You're gonna go demi plie, coup de pied, yes? Shape that foot to the back, get that thigh back. Now you're gonna press down and go up to a straight leg, up to retire passe. Second position, retire in front, and go down the front of the leg to a nice clean fifth, then release and coup de pied. And don't hit the wall like I did, okay? Shape that back foot, in coup de pied, knees back. And again, you're going to the left now. You're gonna pressing down, up the front of the leg in a nice retire. Second position, passe fifth, coup de pied. Oops, you see that? I have more turnout than I was using. You wanna make sure your knees do not come forward. You wanna press that thigh back. Yes, Miss Catherine hasn't been on point for quite some time. So bear with me, okay. So we're gonna start in coup de pied. Ready? Five, six, and seven, demi plie. Coup de pied, one and two. Retire down to fifth, and release through the demi plie. Knees back, and a one. Passe, second position. Passe, down the front of the leg, fifth, and plie, coup de pied. Again, and one, two, Second position, hold. Hold that retire down the front of the leg. Coup de pied, coming back. 
and a one, two. Hold your body in place. Beautiful retire down the front of the leg. Fifth, and release. See how I got that turned out thigh? And shake that foot in the back, yes? So we're gonna do that eight times. Yes, repetition is good, okay? Five, six, seven, plie eight, eight. And a one, and two, and fifth, and down. And a one, and up, and fifth, down. And a one, two, and fifth, down. Make sure you hit the fifth, and again. And a one, two, and front of the leg, down. And a one, two, and three, four, knees back, one, two, and three, plie, and a one, and two, and fifth, get taller before you release to demi plie, shape that foot to the back, and close fifth. Good job, very nice. Now I know these are super basic exercises, but you always have to go back to basics. Don't focus on pirouettes or jumps. You can always stretch while you're, of course, in quarantine and when you're staying home. But focusing on little details like that will really help your dancing. Because I think sometimes we take it for granted when we're in the studio and you just wanna fly through bar, you wanna get into the center, you wanna practice your jumps, Lucy, Haley, uh, you wanna practice your pirouettes, Esme, um, Haley, <laughs> again. Um, but you really have to focus on small details because once you perfect the details at the bar, it'll follow you into the center. And when you are in a confined space like that, this is the perfect opportunity to tweak everything, your turnout, your feet, the positioning of your feet in coup de pied. Remember we used to talk about having that foot coming down from retire down the front of your leg, you should have a dirty spot on your tights where you have that leg coming down through to fifth position. Always make sure your positions are super clean, especially when you work at home by yourself. Um, I don't have a mirror in here, I just have to feel it with my body, but if you can get in front of a mirror, uh, I highly recommend it just to check your body and make sure everything's in place. And if you don't have a mirror, it's even better if you focus on that placement and feel it. And that way, once you get back into the studio, all those basic positions will be perfect. Okay? So, next combination. Let's do, again, at the bar, <laughs> we're going to do, we're going to do something extremely simple. I know this is the basic point class, but back to basics is what I say. All right, we're gonna start in fifth position, okay? We're gonna just do simple tondi to the front, and you're gonna press over the box. Now you wanna make sure your heel is forward. I don't know if you can see that. Heel is forward, knee is back, okay? Start from fifth position, tondi front, press over the box, and tondu plie susu, and bure six, come down seven and eight. And we're gonna go to the side. Side, press over the box, plie back, susu up, and bure six and seven, come down eight. Now we're gonna go to the back. This is the tricky one, okay? You wanna make sure the knee is turned out, your heel is forward, and you press over the back of the box, keeping your supporting leg here straight, yes? So you're up in a nice tendu on arriere. This is coming forward. Yes. Press back over the box. Tendu heel is down. Lead back to fifth position with the heel. Plie, susu up and bore. Six, seven, come down eight. And second, press over the box. Three, susu up and bore. Six, and you can use your arms here. Come down seven and eight, okay? And also, what's really great if you're in a small space is working on your a palma. You don't need a lot of studio space to work on that. You know it's true. And you wanna make sure you're holding your porter bra 
from your back. Make sure this is up and you're coming from the back. Your arms are never behind you. They're always slightly in front of you. Yes, like that. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. Five, six, and a seven, and eight. Tondu you front, press over the box, and three, susu up. Use your port bra. Six, come down seven, and eight. And a one, and two, and three, and up. Bore. Six, seven, I'm gonna turn towards the bar. And a one, knees over the toes. Three, and up. Bore. Six, come down seven, and eight. And a one, two, three, and up. Bore. Six, now don't drop, don't drop as you come down from fifth. Get taller, get taller, get taller, and lengthen. Remember we talked about opposition. When you plie, you want your body to get taller, and as you stretch up, you want the opposition going into the ground. Excellent. And of course, with all these combinations, I expect you to do right side and left side, okay? I don't want you to like see me do the other side with my backside towards you. But anyway, moving forward, let's go ahead and face the bar. We're going to go ahead and do fun stuff. Ready? Eshape one and two and three, susu up. Eshape and two and three, susu up, coup de pied. Okay, we're gonna go to coup de pied. Then you're gonna go pique ballonne and in, pique ballonne and in, and pot of right to fifth. Plie, a chape, and two, and three, susu up, a chape, and two, and three, susu, coup de pied. Now you have the right foot in back in coup de pied. You're gonna do pique ballonne, one, and coup de pied, two, and coup de pied, pas de right to fifth, hold your fifth, my marley floor is going all over the place, and plie, yes? So you have three a chapes, and a one, and two, and three, susu up, and a one, and two, and three, susu, release the back leg, coup de pied. Pique ballonne and in, pique ballonne and in, and padre to fifth, hold, close. Yes? Let me fix my floor. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! I didn't say it was perfect. Okay, ready? We're gonna start with the right foot front, and we're gonna do a pace. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, susu up, and a one, and two, and three, susu up, coup de pied, ballonne, and down, ballonne, and down, pas de right to fifth, and plie, and repeat. Oh, I hear a dog whining, one second. That combination is excellent for building your strength in a chapeze, and of course, making sure when you do the ballonne, you wanna step up, oh, Doors open. Sorry. You want to make sure when you're in that coup de pied position, again, like we did at the very beginning of the class, you shape that foot behind and have that heel attached. Nothing bugs me more if the back foot is sickle. And none of you girls should have sickle feet. Okay? Just saying. You want to make sure your heel is attached, the knee is back, the thigh is back, and you want to shape that foot to the back. And as you do, plie, you want to make sure your knee, we're thinking about opposition again, remember? This knee is going to go straight down, replace this foot, and then out, in, yes? So make sure, details, details, thigh is back, foot is in coup de pied position. You want that opposition of driving it down and then back in, yes? Thigh is back, and of course make sure make sure that supporting leg is turned out as well. So, this is a great combination to repeat at least twice, okay? So, moving on. Boy, my feet hurt. How do your feet feel? <laughs> Any blisters yet, ladies? Oh, okay. You're gonna hate this one. Releves, and I remember Josie's class, Miss Josie's class, she did a lot of releves. Good job, Josie. What we're going to do, is we're going to start in B plus facing the bar, okay? You're just gonna PK, you're gonna push off this leg 
and you're going to PK to coup de pied and back. I hope I don't fall down the stairs. And then you're just going to go plie releve. You're going to do four releves on your right foot. Yes? So from here, you're going to go five, six, seven, PK, eight. And immediately find that coup de pied position to the back of the ankle. And you're going to do four releves. And a one, and two, and three, and four. And a PK, two, and three, and four. You get the picture? Okay, ready? Five, six, seven, PK, eight. And a one, and two, and three, and four. And a one, and two, and three, and four. And repeat, and two, and three, and four. Left side, one, and two, and three. Hold the balance here. And then close fifth, getting taller, up in the hips. Adjust the foot, and demi-plie, finish. Releves are the best exercise to strengthen your ankles, but you have to do them properly. You have to make sure your supporting heel is forward and you're using that opposition to press down into the ground and don't releve up to a soggy knee. We all know what a soggy knee is. We don't want to go up on point on a bent knee. You're not doing yourself any justice. Yes, in fact, you're making it harder on yourself. So you wanna make sure you're pressing down into the floor and getting up on a straight knee. Okay? Miss Catherine's gotta take a break now. Hey, woo! Sidebar, since we are utilizing YouTube a great deal these days, whether it's to watch online classes or to draw inspiration or find music, I think it's every Wednesday and Friday night, the New York City Ballet is streaming their ballets for their spring season and they have been showing some wonderful ballets. I highly recommend you check it out. Um, typically, they will show a live stream, not a live performance, okay? These are performances that were previously filmed during their seasons. Um, most recently, they just uh, streamed Ballet de Regina, which is a George Balanchine ballet, and that was Friday night, it was last night, and typically they take place at eight o'clock. I highly, highly recommend you ladies watch them. Very precise dancers, very speedy, very quick, um, beautiful technique, but also to draw inspiration from them. They, the, every single ballet company, every single studio is in the same boat as you guys. Don't feel like you're the only person in this situation. Dancers all over the world are doing exactly this, working out in their kitchen or their living room, um, doing the best they can, but don't give up, keep pushing. Um, it, this is not gonna be forever. This is just temporary. And like I said, I will see you guys very soon in the studio. I know Mr. O and I can't wait to get back together again and teach you guys and, you know, make you work. So, okay, moving on to the next combination. Yay. Okay, last combination. And this is going to be a doozy, but this will help you tremendously. We're just going to do, I wish I had a bar on this side, but I'm gonna probably have to demonstrate it on my left leg because it's a lot stronger. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do fondue releve and up, and it's just gonna be at 45 degrees, okay? So fondue releve point, fondue releve and up, fondue releve retire to the back, and come down. And fondue releve arabesque, fondue releve al second, fondue up the front of the leg, hold, and again, fondue releve in front, fondue releve al second, fondue releve en arrière, hold, hold, and fondue arabesque, fondue al second, fondue releve retire, find your balance. Yes? Okay? Very, very simple. And by the end of this combination, your leg is gonna be hurting and your foot is gonna be hurting. But remember, in any sort of releve situation, think about that opposition and think about pulling up behind the knee onto a stretched leg. We did those exercises at the very beginning of the class so we can feel that stretch behind your knee. Now, I know this class feels like it's super basic, like again I said, but this will help you strengthen while you're at home. And that way, once you return back to the studio, 
you won't feel like a big bowl of jello. You know, like you can't feel your muscles and you can't feel strong in that area. But let's do this combination. Huh, actually, you're gonna do this combination. And I'm gonna count it out. Five, six, and seven, and eight, and fondue, releve, and up. Fondue, releve, al second. Fondue, retire, hold, and fondue, releve, arabesque. Fondue, al second. Fondue, retire, and hold, repeat, and one. Knees back, fondue, releve, and up. Fondue, releve, en arrière. Hold. Last time, one. Relevé. And relevé. Retire. Hold your balance here. I'm not on point, but I don't care. And then close fifth up on point. Stay up on point. Adjust the foot. And finish fifth. Okay? This is an excellent exercise to repeat twice and then do the other side. Okay? Fantastic. All right. So let's take a little bow, and one, and two, curtsy, and one, and two. So I hope you enjoyed this basic, basic point class. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but if you continue with the releves, you will continue to strengthen your feet. And like I said, if you don't have a mirror, you have to feel it on your body, that body placement. I know you girls are smart enough to know what the positions look like, but make sure in coup de pied, your foot stays connected. Make sure your thighs are turned out, and most importantly, make sure you're up in your core, your hips are underneath you, Haley, Haley, and of course, you're using your upper body supporting from the back. But yes, so I hope to see you guys really soon. I miss you all, and hang in there, reach out to me on social media in case you need to talk. If you just wanna say hi, you guys know where I'm at. I'm at Row Dancer at Instagram. That's R-E-A-U Dancer. So I hope you guys are well. I miss you guys so much. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will definitely see you soon. Bye guys. Yeah, I just want to keep it running. Yeah, right, uh, right here. Okay, now how, how, should I see Claire? Yes. <laughs>